By night and by day it grows. One of the shrines in Newtown and Sandy Hook to the dead among them. This is Stephen Farrell for the New York Times in Newtown, Connecticut. As this is like a, a, a picturesque, stereotypical New England town, like I suppose this is any town USA to an extent. And unfortunately, with uh, a, a really uh, diabolical twist, went from any town to, to, to Newtown. As the first hours of shock drag into days and cold winter nights, the survivors, relatives and neighbours walk in a daze, their streets bearing the seasonal trappings of gaiety without that none feel within. Slowly, in their own ways, they are processing what their community has become. Some are coming to terms with the tragedy through praying and helping others to do so. Got a phone call from our church counsellor to gather the members of our church together to, to get together and do some intercessory prayer um, for this community and especially for the, the parents. Prayerfully, I hope to talk with wisdom and discernment to people and hopefully their uh, concerns would be, would be eased with prayer. But no one has ever seen anything like this. Police helicopters hovering over this Christmas tree farm which was doing the slightest of business. Its owner tries to put the deaths in a wider setting, reaching for some sort of context. Um, I couldn't help but think of all the other children in the rest of the world who are exposed to daily bombings and robots and whatever from the Gaza, from in, within Syria, within Libya, and you know, and they're not used to it, of course. We hear about it and we shut it off and then it happens to us. It, I know it's totally different and yet you're, you're talking about their young lives being taken for no reason at all. It's carnage. Others, from Newtown and farther afield, already calling for measures to stop such carnage ever happening again. I'm particularly moved by a note that was left here tonight at the memorial written by a little young boy named Tristan. The note which is lying there among the candles and the flowers and the bears that everyone has come here to place read something as the following. I can't understand why anybody would do something to us, young kids like this. I will miss you all. The bottom of the note said, Yes, please take guns away from everyone.